Tell you from this here, eh? Hang on. This isn't it, is it? Yeah. This is it, sunshine. Joking, isn't it? What do you mean? That's a bit shit, isn't it? Where do you see the inside? Fuck off the bed. You both could come down the other week, couldn't you? It's like, oh no, no. Well, look, you see it, Stan? It's what you think. If it's all right, we'll take it, Stan. Oh, sure, I guess it's all right. Oh, fuck it. Oh, fuck it. Oi. Jesus Christ, we'll have to sort that out. Well, we can soon change them. That's just the batteries. Don't worry about it. I just hope the bog flushes with a bit more power than that. Hey, yeah. Wow. Well, you seen this? Wow. Well, come here. There you go. <laughs> what do you reckon to that, Jeez, eh? Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I thought it was a bloody rolling pin at first. Oh, mine boggles, doesn't it? God knows what the previous tenants were like. Hey, hey maybe they use it for stirring the beans, eh? <laughs> hey, you could give it to Judy, couldn't you? I've heard she gets a bit short. Oh, no, nah, mate, nah. She's used to something uh, a bit bigger, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Oi, Greg, in here! I found some new batteries for the doorbell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you find it? Yeah, I got it. Cool. Change. Cheers. What are you doing? Um, clearing the crap out of your room. I'm not happy about this, you know. How come I get stuck with a fucking broom cupboard? I told you, I'm not having the small room. Oh, me. Yeah, well, someone's gonna have to have it, aren't they? Well, I don't mind someone having it as long as it's someone else. Come on, Ant, let's be fair. Right, you're the newcomer, aren't you? Hmm. Yeah, and that's how these things work. Yeah. Last person in gets last choice of the rooms, don't they? Oh, do they? Yeah, they do. And besides, there's only a single bed in this room. That's all you can fit. Yeah, but I need a double room for when Judy comes down at weekends and stuff, don't I? Well, can we take a turn on her as well? I don't know, lads. She's a bit funny about things like that. We can fuck off, then. <laughs> look, 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 look. I sympathise with you, Stan, but he has got a point. <laughs> He'll get a point in a minute. Well, I mean, you know, just because you're the last person here doesn't mean you should get the short room. Absolutely, yeah. OK. All right, mate. It's two big rooms, aren't they? Right, yeah. yeah that's yeah. one each for me and you. Yeah. Yeah, and Arthur here, he has a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, he has got a point. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, oh, come on, Ant. You'll be much happier in this small room. It's better for you. Yeah, trust me, I know about these things. I want to be able to swing a bloody cat in that room. Yeah, well, just don't get a cat, then. <laughs> You've never liked animals anyway, have you? They make you sneeze. Hey, if that's me, Mum, tell her I'm not here yet. Yeah, it'll be his missus. Oh, the lovely Judy. Yeah. Yeah, you all right? No, not much. Just tidying up a bit, actually. All right, Judy. No, that was Ant. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, well, the small one, yeah. No, no, he didn't much. <laughs> It was the phone connector when you pair moved in. Yeah, yeah, everything gets stuck with the previous lot's bill. What do you mean? Well, the phone's not usually connected when you move in, is it? So, the last lot, he buggered off and leave us to pay the bill. Fucking hell, doesn't a landlord have to pay it? Does he, bollocks? It's not going to be in his name, is it? At university. We did a runner three times on the phone bill. <laughs> we never paid one. <laughs> three times? Yeah. Fucking students. Lazy, work shy, jobless bastards being subsidised by the rest of us. He can talk, dull boy. <laughs> it was only a year. Only, yeah. Yeah, only. While well, you pair were off smoking your first spliffs and trying to shag birds with pierced noses, I was off fighting for Queen and Country. Oh, right? here we go. Don't start with that lightly lad stuff again. Yeah, you're only in the fucking catering course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did me bits alright, don't you worry.
That's the grand tour, as it were. Yeah. Right, fine. So anyway, we won't really have much to do with that lot out there. That's where the sexy stuff goes on, as it were. That's where the reporters live, and where the news and stories gathered. Oh right, so they find new news every day, do they? That's why it's called the news. It's new. Oh yes, of course. Sorry, I mean I didn't... God, blimey. Mandy Hill? Oh, hiya, Rob. Yeah, I just wanted to know if you got the bone marrow twins. Paddy's doing it, is he? Okay. Thanks. Bye. What are the bone marrow twins? Oh, some pet project or other of Alistair's. One of them dies if the other one can't be a donor or something. I don't know. Come on, I've got to show you the gallery. Hello. Oh, uh, is that Ant? Yeah. All right, Ant, it's Judy. Oh, all right, how are you? Yeah, yeah, fine. You? You all settling in all right and everything, yeah? Yeah, it feels like we lived here years, actually. All right, is that a good thing? Hey? Oh, I was just wondering if that's a good thing or not, you know. What do you mean? Well, uh. Seeing as you've only been living down there a few days and it already feels like a few years, it, is that a good thing or not? I don't know. All oh, right. Anyway, look, uh, is he back yet? Um, he's not, you know, no. He's, um, he's probably gone to the pub with his new work, mate, so they often do that, apparently. All right. Well, he has lived down here three months, so he's got to socialise a bit and make, uh, make new friends, hasn't he? Yeah, he'll, um... They'll probably come crashing through the door at midnight, pissed as a fart, as usual. What do you mean, as usual? You've only been living down there a few days. Figure of speech. Anyway, look, uh, I'll probably speak to him tomorrow or something. Um, can you just tell him that I called? Yeah, I'll tell him. All right, then, cheers. So, you're not at work today, then, yourself, Ant? Stan said you got yourself a job sorted. Well, yeah, they did want me to start straight away, but I told them I had to work out a month's notice from a job in Birmingham. Hmm. Didn't have to, though, did you? Nah. So why didn't you start straight away? Well, I couldn't be asked, actually. The lads said that it up out with the rent this month, so it was all right. What is it that you're doing again, then, Ant? Stan said it was working in a car wash or something. Yeah, well, that's just, um... Just a temporary thing till I get myself somewhere better, you know? All oh, right, I see. All right then, uh, I'd best let you go. You must be um, busy. If you can just tell him that I called and get him to give me a ring and let me know what time he's coming up on Friday. Well, he's coming up there for the weekend, is he? Yeah, he is, yeah. Yeah, OK, all right then. All right then, cheers. Speak to you later. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah. You alright? Bored, are you? Fine. Oh dear, what's the problem? Was that his lordship on the phone? No, it was his flatmate, Ant. Ant? Now, is he the pretentious one or the wanker? Well, we're both wankers, as far as I'm <laughs> concerned, anyway. Greg's the pretentious one, Ant's the waster. And? Oh, he's just trying to wind me up, stir things. Well, he looks like he's succeeding. <sighs> do you know what I'd do? I'd lay the law down. Give him a choice. Who's Stan? Yeah. Well, what do you mean? Well, you've been going out with him for three years. 
absolutely no commitment whatsoever. At least not from him. Look, the other month you came in, you were going to move in together. You were all excited about it. And next thing we know, he's up sticks and moved to London. Well, either he's trying to tell you something, or he needs kicking into touch. And you're certainly not going to be able to do that up here when he's down there drinking with his mates. You've got to get him to make a decision. Yeah, but the thing is, what if, if, you, if I was to go... No, up there? you have to make a decision too. You've got to decide whether or not you want to be with him. Or whether... Or whether, to be honest, it's time to make a new start. It's no good waiting on him. He's a bloke. He's perfectly happy with an occasional shag every other weekend and spend the rest of the time having the freedom to do whatever, whenever, with whoever. So, sort of make things sort of come to a sort of head? Yeah, I think so. Force the issue. Look, I can't tell you whether he loves you or not. Only you know that. But what I do know is that he's a bloke. And blokes are like bulls. So if you're not going to pull him along by the ring through his nose, you need to pull him along by something else instead. <laughs> do you want your Auntie Trisha to make you a cup of coffee? Yeah. You got any chocolate biscuits to go with that? I'll see what I can do. So this woman phones up and she says they've got this great dirty worm stuck in their toilet and the fucking thing won't flush away. And can we go round and sort it out? <laughs> well, what type of worm? What the fuck should I know? But didn't you go round there to sort it out? Did I? Fuck, I ate fucking worms. <laughs> so I'm certainly not going round someone's house to stick my hand down their toilet to fish one out now, am I? Well, how did it get there in the first place? Ah, fucked if I know. It kind of crawled up the system. You reckon one of them shut it out or something? Well, that's what I kind of suggested to her, and she said... She said that they weren't that type of family. <laughs> that type of family. Can you fucking believe it? Are you coming for a drink then, Stan? No, no, I can't, guys. I'm giving it a miss and red off. Come on, big boring, just a couple of Yeah, come on, you big boring shunter. No, 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 honestly, I, I can't. I'm, I'm skinned to the moment. Oh, come on, I'll sob you. I know you want to. No, no, I've got to go up. I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Are So, good day at the office, darling. Absolutely marvellous, darling. Thank you for asking. I was going to nip into the booze straight from work, but I thought, fuck it, I'll save the dosh. Mm. And the tube was that fucking hot, so I was sweating like a bastard. So by the time I got off, I was absolutely gasping for a stiff one. I reckon it's going to be pretty dangerous having this place here, right next to the tube and all. Fucking hell, yeah. I'm going to be bankrupt within the year. That'd go down well with you, wouldn't it? <laughs> So, what have you got up to today while well, we've been out uh, grafting? Working like a monkey, I suppose. Well, I've had a couple. <laughs> That'd be right. Still, it stops you from attacking women in the streets. Mm. Tell you what, I was bored shitless, to be honest. It's getting really weird being alone in that house all day. Yeah. I'd actually be glad when I start work. I never thought I'd say that. <laughs> when do you start? Is it next week? Mm -hmm. You don't think it'll be all right? I could not give a shot to be honest. Mm. Still, it's money that I've made. Yeah. Did Greg phone today? Mm. No, he never. I know he's getting off. No, he'll be all right. Man, he always falls on his feet, man. Here we go. It's all right in here, isn't it? Yeah. 
All right. Coffee isn't strong enough, though. But it's no smoking. So you're an edit assistant? Yeah. How long? Two years. Two years? I'm surprised you didn't go for the editor's job. You're probably a lot more experienced than I am. Can't think why I didn't. Well, I'm glad... No, sorry, you go first. I was just wondering how tall you are. Five ten. Why? I mean, how... Sorry, you were just about to ask me something. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Oh, I've forgotten. Sorry. Never mind. How much do you weigh? 13 stone. And you work out? Sorry. Do you go to a gym? Sometimes. Why? Just curious. I suppose you'll be wanting to know my shoe size next, won't you? Size 10. Nine and a half, actually. Uh, what? Uh, nothing. So, how long have you been in London? Just under a month. Just a little baby then? You? Since I left university. Oh, yeah? What did you study? Media? No. Applied physics. No. Really that complicated, actually. What I didn't like was the way that physics bases all its perception on data. And discounts things outside inexplicable and frankly perceived notion of reality. Right. Physics doesn't believe in magic, the soul, the flesh. What's your favourite film? Top three, Straw Dogs, Last Tango in Paris and um, Irreversible. Top three writers, Baudelaire, Marta Sard, Byron. Anything with a vaguely Rabelaisian name. Oh, yeah. Artists, Dali, Bosch, Turner. Top three performing artists, Led Zeppelin, Eminem, and probably Steps. Yeah, I know. Can't explain it. Look, I've got to go. I've got okay. things to do. Um, I don't suppose you fancy going out one night this week or the weekend. With you? Could do. Have you anywhere in mind? Well, I don't really know many places yet. I could show you a couple. A club I'm a member of in Soho. Maybe not. Not yet. I know. A nice little restaurant in Chelsea. On the river. Chelsea? Yeah, not too expensive. About £70 a head last time I was there. That's if you want to go out. Oh, um, no, no, I mean, yes, yes. Good. You can tell me all about how you got the editing job there. Did you call? Mm. Yeah, she did, yeah. Mm. Yeah, what did she say? She said she'd be back. No thanks. No thanks. Yes.
Hiya. Yeah, Dave. Yeah, we're down the rubber dub dub. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, the railway arms. Yeah. Yeah, don't forget your fucking shooter, right? And bring your old whistling flute. Yeah. Yeah, the railway fucking arms, you fucking plum. Yeah, yeah it's opposite the tube station. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what Anna said. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I'll see you later, yeah? Yeah, yeah, of course I'll get you one in. Yeah, that's right, Dave, I'll get you one in. Yeah, mate, yeah. But don't forget that fucking monkey you owe me, okay? That fucking monkey, right? Yeah, see you later then. Yeah, yeah, bye, 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 bye. See ya. Cheers. Bye. Guess what I'm going to you make coming down then? Yeah, yeah, it is. Well, I knew it would. Dave was a total fucking pisshead. It's all going pretty well, I suppose. I don't think anyone's sussed out that I haven't got a fucking clue what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you heard about what Mike's up to? No, no, yeah, I haven't spoken to him. Oh, he's got this pine furniture business going on from his garage mail order. Pine furniture? Yeah. What's he going to do next? I, I phoned him up and his message goes, Hello, this is Mike Greenleaf of Lonesome Pine. What's <laughs> a fucking pine? Anyway, he's going on. As you probably know, we've got Elegant beds and stylish wardrobes. <laughs> All this other shit is coming out of it. <laughs> anyway, I goes round there to his garage. And that's all he's fucking got. One bed. One fucking wardrobe. <laughs> one some fucking... <laughs> I'm gonna get some shorts in. What's it gonna be, girls, eh? What would you like? Hey, can I stay at yours? I can't. Yeah, there's loads of them. Oh yeah, you might have loads of fucking room. Oh, fucking hell, you shut up about that little <laughs> room of yours, fuck sake. You got stuck with the box room, yeah? <laughs> I fucking did. These bastards said, oh, you're the last one in, so you're going to have the fucking room. I'm not living with him, right? It's just like, meh, 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 Get the fucking shorts in. <laughs>
think Ant took it up to bed with him last night. God, he's a cunt and a half sometimes. Did it help him sleep or something? Sleep? I'll give him fucking sleep. Find it? Jesus, don't do that. Sorry, did you find the whiskey? Uh, he's had the lot, hasn't he? What are you doing? Looking at Ant's wank mags. Yeah, guess well. There's some more here. Mm. Yeah. Bedtime reading, eh? Well, that's Ant. Don't know much about art, but he knows what he likes. Today. What? Some bloke reckon there's a snake in his bog. Bloody hell, was that London Zoo or something? No, Tottenham. I told him though, I told him it couldn't have been a snake, never got into his system in the first place. Don't people flush him down the toilets when they get too big or something? <laughs> you soft bugger, that doesn't happen, don't be daft. That's crocodiles. Anyone in? Oh, we're up here! Away. Oh. Yeah. All right. Which is not a real question. What the fuck are you pair doing? Me? I'm not doing anything. What are you doing in my room? Fucking things. <laughs> calm down, calm down. We're not doing nothing. <laughs> We're poking around in your room. Well, don't I get any fucking privacy around here at all? I mean, it's bad enough you stick me with this broom <sighs> cupboard without coming home to find you pair fucking about in it. Well, take it easy. I was just looking for the whiskey which you finished off, by the way. Yeah, well, that's what I've just been after buy, actually. Well, that's good, actually. Look, just leave my stuff alone, all right, will you? Oh, oh, come on, I don't even got any more in here. Oh, I've told you, will you fuck off? Leave my gear alone, all right? All right? Marty bollocks, I need to have a fucking happy about it. Come on, Greg, let's go have a drink. I'll see your 50, and I'll raise you a quid. Greg? Ah, fold. Oh, come on, where's your balls? Just under my cock. Mm. Right, come on, let's see what you got. Two pairs. Hmm. Ah, bad luck, mate. Three jacks. <laughs> <sighs> So you're not seeing Mandy tonight then, Greg? Nah. Slipping in, yeah? You've seen her every night of the week so far. What's happened? You spent your last penny at Summit? No, I'm seeing her tomorrow night. We're going clubbing for the weekend. <laughs> clubbing. Where's she live? Uh, with three girls in um, West Hampstead. <laughs> oh, I might come down. Oh, I'll be the other half and live, eh? Actually, how do you get up to Hampstead on the tube? Is it um, Northern Line? Mm. Wait, you're going there on the tube? Yeah, so? Well, you want to watch yourself round by Hampstead on the tube, mate. What, what do you mean? 
Well, you know, pretty young boy like you, <laughs> on the tube, on your own, tight jeans, <laughs> nice tight shirt, anything might happen. You're stupid. No, no, straight up, if you pardon the expression. Ramsted's famous for it, young blokes being abducted from the tube and interfered with. Yeah, gobbler's Gulch, they call it. Who does? Everyone. Bollocks. No, 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 it's true. How's it going with Mandy, anyway? Uh, well, when I first met her, I thought she was a bit moody, but uh, I've got to know, she's uh, really quite wild. All right. Yeah. What did you do last night? I uh, went to this Croatian restaurant in Kensington, it's really good. A Croatian restaurant? Yeah. Christ, I tell you what, you're getting with a bunch of middle class mates and you end up going to the ponciest places you can find. What's wrong with a good old British curry? Look, you don't have to have a curry every time you go out, you know. You don't? No, you need to get a bit of a different culture in your soul. Oh, soul more like. I'll tell you one thing, Sam. There's nothing poncy about Croatian food. In fact, there's nothing poncy about Croatia at all. That's all right. You were the army there, weren't you? Mm hmm. Peacekeeping force. Yeah, I forgot about that. How long were you there for? Six week tour. Yeah, yeah, I remember when you came back. You didn't really talk about it. Didn't I? No. What was it like? I'm going to call it a day, lads. I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Yeah, all right. Right. Is it all right, you reckon? Yes. How do you mean? Um, it seemed a little bit weird. Oh, he's always like that when he talks about the army. Of course, uh, you know that he was responsible for the death of over 20 men over there, Bullshit. No, 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 it's true. What happened? Poison him with his beef strong. going out, am I? We're supposed to be saving money. Well, how could I forget? You what? No, I, I've said. Yes. Yes, I am. Well, you know I am. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I won't. Yeah, yeah, me too. Okay. Yeah. See so, ya. Yeah. Yeah, bye. Bye.
Stubborn. <laughs> Look, even if you're being nice. Nah, nah, I better not. I'll give it a miss. Oh, come on, just have a beer, you big fool. Uh, come on, big man. Look, I, I, I can't afford it. Come on! For God's sake, it's just one. Alright, just the one. I'm out of here, I gotta catch this last cube. Are you still running? Yeah, half eleven to be sure. Hang on a minute, I thought we were going back to mine. You're gonna come back to mine, aren't you, Stan? Back to mine? <laughs> back to mine, that's not mine. <laughs> She's wasted. Mm. Yeah, but I think I should take her back, you know. Mm. Oh, you do, do you? Yeah, well, look at her. If I don't take her, she won't make it back by herself. Like you said, she's wasted. Why don't you just stick her in a cab? Nah, nah, it's not safe, is it? I think I should take her home. Just ah. to make sure she gets there. Ah, all right, boy. Take me home, Stan. Please. Please, please, please. All right, then. Yeah. All right, Casanova. Just don't be fucking late tomorrow, the pair of yours. Oh, don't worry. Right, I'm away. Bye. Take it easy. Bye. Well, cheers, mate. Bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I know, you're a bloke, right? <laughs> you wouldn't even know this. Let's go, we know it's not. It is, it's bloody obvious, I'm telling you. I don't know about that, you're going to try to live longer. Yeah, I'm so hurt. I think it's something I said. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm really glad you did here. That's no problem. Well, are you coming in? seems to happen. What does? Well, you know, when I start a new job or something, um, I always seem to be going out with one of the girls, you know, within a few days. Oh, no shit. It always seems to happen. Can't explain it. Must be a real bitch for you. I don't know how you manage. Hey, Stan said she was a right posh cow. Bollocks. He's only met her once. I don't know what his problem is. Probably fancies her. He can fuck off. Relax, I'm only winding you up. Anyway, just because you got, you know, parents got a little bit of money, it doesn't necessarily mean she's posh, does it? Nah, of course it does. So, um, what are you going to do with her this weekend then? Punting on the river, nice game of croquet. Oh, fuck off. Oh, for fuck's sake! Look what you're fucking done. It's clean on this, is. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, mate. It's only an accident. You shouldn't clean point off. spoons at people unless you're going to use them. Wow. Well, I went. Sorry, I went staying. Are you making that pie, are you? What pie? Eh? I'm not making a pie. I never said you was. You did? Fucking never. 
Yes, you did. You said you're making that pie, ain't you? No, you cunt. I says you're making that pie, are you? It's paella to you. You were going on about it last week after you had it in that Spanish restaurant with what's the face? Paella? Not paella. You pronounce it paella. Who does? Well, the Spanish do for a start. But I'm not cooking Spanish. It's Mexican. Is it? No, did you, did you get your cumin in? Yeah, of course. You used chilli sauce, didn't you? You didn't use powder, did yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I used chilli sauce. I wouldn't use powder. Was it, did you use green or red peppers? Yeah, um, red, I think. Hmm. Where's your enchiladas? Look, fuck off! Just because you said 500 mils of bloody squaddies doesn't make it Egon bloody Rona, does it? Alright, calm down. Just trying to give you a bit of professional advice. <sighs> Just don't. By the way, did you get a tequila? Yeah, I did. Send me back out there. You got it? Tequila slammer. That's fucking girls drink, eh, mate? Do his cock after all the times he'd done it. <laughs> Are you alright, mate? You look a bit. I, I don't know. I, I feel a bit. Oh, you're not going to puss out on me, are you? Oh, fucking no! <coughs> hey, don't do that on the cooking programs, mate. She was out on you again, did she? Eh? I don't know. It's not on, is it? He'll be sitting down to piss next. Mind you, tequila is a bitch, you know. You taste it for days afterwards. Yeah, talking about tasting bitches for days. Well, you've been, you've been to see that Carmen again, have you? No, I haven't. I'm asking you not to mention that again. I told you that in confidence. Oh, don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. I ain't told a soul, not even him. Yeah, do you want to slam her then? Yeah, go on then.
Oh, great, you've got some food on the go. I'm fucking starving. Do you want some? Yeah. I've it before. It's still warm, I think. So, the guys in the office are pretty cool. They don't give a fuck as long as the cars are clean by the time the customer comes in to rent them. That Mike was a bit of a dick. But apart from that, the job's okay. Oh, if you want to speak to anyone with any sense in the office, always speak to Maria. That's my girlfriend. Oh, she's Australian too, isn't she? Did you travel over here with her? Bullshit, mate. She's Aussie. I'm a fucking Kiwi. Oh, sorry, mate. I, I can't tell the difference in the accent. It just sounds the same to me. Uh, you'll get it eventually. It's like me saying to you, I can't tell the difference between the English and the fucking Scots. <laughs> fucking Kiwi accent stands out like dog's balls after a time. Did you come over here with Maria then? Nah, I met her in fucking Amsterdam, didn't I? Me and my mate Drew came over from New Zealand together. We went on this con tour to Europe as soon as we arrived. What, all over Europe? Yeah, pretty much. Six weeks on a coach, mate. Yeah, fucking Paris, Rome, Amsterdam, Munich, uh, Prague, fucking uh, Madrid, Brussels, had a bit of a look at Marseille. Oh, you guys did the lockdown. Yeah, it's fucking choice. You've got to do it when you're young, eh? Oh, shit. What do those bastards want? That us, is it? Yeah. That's the internal line from the office. They ring that when a fucking customer turns up and they want a car taken down there. Shall I go and get it? Yeah, best see what they want. Hey, is that cunt Michael? Tell him to fuck off, will you? Oh yeah, that'll go down a storm on my first day, wouldn't it? No, nah, mate. Fucking good career move. Shows me you're not to be fucked with. Uh, hello. Oh, hello, Michael. Tell him to fuck off. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Tell him Brent said he's a cunt. Okay, Tom. We'll do it, mate. Cheers. Bye. You said the customer's in the office with a Volvo and one of us has got to take it down. Shall I do that? What? Like fuck. Oh, hey, mate. Yeah. Yeah, it's Brent from up at the yard. How you doing? Oh yeah? Yeah, <laughs> chores. Yeah, nice one. Hey, can you put Michael on for a sec? Cheers, bro. Listen, you gumboot. We're going fucking flat out up here trying to get all these fucking cars clean. Why don't you give us a break and send someone up from the office for the bloody Volvo? I'm trying to show Ant the fucking ropes and everything and... Well, if we stop now, we've fucked up the whole bloody rhythm. We'll have to start from scratch. Yeah? Yeah, we will. Well, I need them here, don't I, if we get all these fucking cars done? Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to send someone up then? Okay. Okay, right. <laughs> fucking told him. Well, should we get the Volvo ready then? Nah, it'll keep. Time for a smoke, I reckon. You stick the jug on, I'll roll up. I tell you what, Brent, this is the life, mate. Not too worse, is it? Not too worse? What the fuck does that mean? Well, you guys don't say that over here. I've never heard it in my life. Not too worse. There's this guy who lives in our house, Sam. He's a fucking scream. It's like, how are you, Sam? Oh, not too worse. I like that. That's brilliant. Nah, mate. It's choice, yeah? It's fucking choice, mate. Oh, I've got a bit of guys from the office come to pick up the Volvo. You lazy pair of bastards. That guy's going fucking ape shit down there because his car's not ready. It's that fussy cunt, Mr. Dallas. He's in every week. You wouldn't want to be on the receiving end, would you? We've had to give him a discount just to calm him down. Hello, darling. You miss me, babe? Yeah, I've been holding head. Big ugly bastard. Ugly? Didn't say that last night when I was hanging out of you. Ha, oh, fucking ha! Give us a see you, honey. How's your first day going, Dom? Oh, it's going great, yeah. Brent was just telling me about Michael. Oh, I don't know. He's such a dick, eh? Fucking right. Mm. Do you know what he said to me this morning? No, mate. 
He said because I was five minutes late, he was entitled to dock me a whole hour's pay. Want me to tap him for you? No, oh, let me. I said no, didn't I? It's not fair. Well, if you're good, I'll let you smack him when we leave. Choice. Hey, Aunt, you want to come out raging with us tonight? One of our flatmates is going back to New Zealand, and we're all going up to Southern Cross in Fulham. It's going to be a real rage. It's going to be full on. Ooh. Yeah, come on, you love it. It's real Kiwi Aussie club. It's like being back home. It'll be great. It's fucking choice in there. I really love it. Oh, yeah? Well, count me in, aren't you? Choice, I'll be able to introduce you to Steinlager, mate. <laughs> Fucking choice, mate. <laughs> so did you speak to him at all today? Nah. Nah. Yeah, he'll be alright. So you reckon you'd come down the pub then? Yeah. Oh, up? <laughs> I'd say there's a, definitely a chance. Well, oh, yeah. that'll be a good sign. Of course, uh, he could have got the sack. Yeah, seems to have gone to a habit of that lately. <laughs> Hell, this piece is a bit. Put on the shop, <coughs> I'll tell you. Is this what? like triple cheese or something? <coughs> oh, it's alright, a glass of water. Oh, oh. I'm gonna say. Cool. So Been through a few jobs since you left the army. Oh, engage on that. Oh. You know, if he doesn't pay his rent, stump up on time. No? Yeah, yeah, I know. It's not going to work, is it? We're not going to be here for very long if he doesn't. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> oh. Yeah. You alright? Mm. Yeah, I've been. <coughs> meat, feast, pepper, or anything. I think there's a couple of sharp ones in there. <laughs> Go for a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say. Oh. Yeah. Man killed by pepper. <laughs> yeah. I'd say. Four. Christ, maybe probably order it there again. I can tell you. Four. <laughs> Luigi, only on the pepper. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I reckon you shouldn't worry about that. Yeah, you reckon? Yeah. You reckon? I think we're going to be here for a long time. Yeah. Oh. These are the salad days, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, I could have done with some right now. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Cheers. Up your pipe. <laughs> oh. Hey, you don't start me. I've just got this down my throat. <laughs> As the actress said to the bishop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> What is this crap we're watching? Oh, no. You're watching it, not me. Oh, God. Fuck. Sorry. You're a walking disaster area, you are. Oh, this is a man chokes on pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Took us a salt over no bed. No choke on it. Oh, <laughs> Again. Very nice and clean. So, you're going to go up to. Oh, you got to Brum this weekend to see Judy? Nah, that's no, coming down here. What, on the train? No, she's going to walk. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, of course she's coming on the train. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to pick her up from Houston. Yeah? Yeah. Of course you get a different class of bird altogether if you pick her up at King's Cross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I suppose you do. Yeah. Still, best be on their best behaviour, eh? Hmm. I suppose we better tidy the place up a bit before she comes down. Oh. What's your mag of this plat? Hmm. We'll soon find out. Might not be as uh, posh as Hampstead, eh? <laughs> Just have to put up with it, won't she? Yeah.
Oh, yeah. fucking oh, hell. Oh, we, we, oh, we was down in fucking... Hey, we... we Oh. 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 Oh, come on. Yeah, come on. <laughs> come on, fella. Yeah. You're not leaving me here on my own with him, are you? Um, sorry, mate, but uh, can't give the young lady waiting, can I? No, just wrong, mate. I suppose you can't, mate, can you? Sweetheart. Cup of tea and bed, eh? That's what I need. Yeah, that's not all. I've also got Jaffa cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Jaffa cakes as well, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't deserve this. Well, you are the guest. Why, oh, thank you. And you deserve to be pampered. <laughs> but most of all, I reckon it was that shag this morning that did the trick. Hey, <laughs> sod! <laughs> Ah! 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 <laughs> I'm a Jaffa cake! Do you want your tea? Oh, cheers. Oh, Jaffa cake. This one. See stars. <laughs> <laughs> nice cup of tea. Well, thank you. I'll try my best. Well, no, you do. <laughs> What do you want to do later then? I don't know, I suppose we could go into town. Alright. And have something to eat, go yeah, in the pub. Yeah, sound, yeah. used to this. Yeah, so could I. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Get out of there. You have had your lot. Oh, go on. Please. It's been three whole weeks. Oh, has it? Yeah, it seemed like forever. Has it now? Yeah, it has. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. We even started to look at ants in a funny way. What's up? All right, and Greg's still in? Yeah, of course I am. Where else would they be? It's nine o'clock on a Saturday morning. Yeah. They'll be in bed nursing Friday night's hangover. It's, it's kind of traditional in this house. Really? Yeah. Anyway, don't worry about them. We'll both be asleep. What are you 
you doing? I'm going to go to the loo. Oh, hiya. <clears throat> Morning. I was just on my way to the uh, bathroom. Ah, oh, me too. Oh, right. Uh, well, you go first. I don't mind. You go on. OK, cheers. Thank you. Rune stones? What the fuck are they then? Never heard of them. I'm sure I've told you about them before. Yeah. Yeah, but you're probably too pissed to remember. It's not some fucking new age hippie shit, is it? No. Because no. I know you. No, it's not hippie shit. It's been around for centuries. It's not something to do with like, predicting the future, tarot cards, that kind of stuff, is it? Well, not really. Sort of. Like I said, hippie shit. I'll give you hippie shit in a minute. I don't want any hippie shit. Mm. Oh, aye, aye. You can tell someone's other girlfriend around, can't you? <coughs> you don't mind me saying so, mate. You look well and truly fucked. Cheers. I do hope you have been. Look, I'm not so fucked I can't take care of you as well. Remember, you're not a man until you've had a man, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've told you before, mate, I don't think of you that way. It's your own affair, that's what you're into. You can shag as many blokes as you want, but it's just not for me, all right? I'm straight, OK? Wait, even if I was gay, you'd be the last bloke on earth I'd fuck. Looking good. After Stephen Hawking. <laughs> Look, when you finish chatting, start right, right. Are we going to go to the laundry? Yeah, I'm north? coming. You going to the laundry? Uh-huh. Yeah, you coming? Nah, nah, I'm good tomorrow. Well, if you guys fancy a drink, we're going to go in the tavern after. We're just going to dump this stuff off and go and sink a couple. It's all right, mate. I'll give it a miss, you know. Uh, food as well. Yeah. Come on. We might go to town later, anyway. Well, well, see you later. Yeah, catch you later. Hey, Greg, don't worry back. Certainly a lot better than your back garden. That horrible great burnt patch in the middle. Yeah. What happened there then? I don't know. It's like that when we moved in. 
this. Someone must have had a, a bonfire out there or something. So are you all getting on then in the house together? Great. Yeah. He's not paid his share of the rent yet. Well, I, I don't think he's been paid yet. Well, you know how it is, you've, you've got to work a month in hand. But it, he'll cough up. He always does. He will. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried. It's your money. Yeah, that's right. It is. You shouldn't let him take advantage of you all the time. You know what he's like. Ever since he got out of the army, all he's done is doss around, sponging off everybody. Could, could, could we just forget about this, yeah? Please. Sorry. It's all right. Because it's not fair on you, Stan. Look, I'm sorry, but it's not. You let him walk all over you sometimes. No, I don't. Who? I don't. He's a mate, isn't he? We help each other out. That's what mates are for. Yeah, and if you keep bailing him out, he's never going to learn to stand on his own two feet, is he? Look, love, I'm not nagging. Really, I'm not. I just think you should look out for yourself for a change, that's all. Well, if you were move in with us down here and get a job down here, well, well, that would make the rent cheaper for all of us, wouldn't it, by a third? I do want to move down here and be with you. You know I do. Well, then. But I've told you. I want us to live together. I want to live with you, alone. I don't want to share you with your stupid mates. You just want to have your cake and eat it, don't you? Don't be stupid. I... I've never understood that expression anyway. Well, if I've got any cake, of course I'm going to want to eat it. What else am I going to do with it? Stick it up my arse? Well, I've told you. I'm not moving in with you and your alcoholic mates. No way. Come on, mate. They're not that bad, are they? Well, they're not. You know, and they're not going to be there most of the time now. Anyway, Greg's busy with that posh cow from Hampstead and <laughs> Ant, well, he's always on the piss with, with them Kiwi mates of his, you know, going to bloody barbecues and getting absolutely bladdered. Like, that surprises me. He's an animal. I mean it. I'm not moving down here till you move out from those two and we get a place on our own. OK, well... We don't have to get a place on our own right away, do we? But you just move down here and we'll stay where we are for a bit, yeah? And, well, we can look for somewhere if we want to, you know, but we'll just see how it goes. Give it a couple of months, see what we want to do. I think you need to decide who you want to live with. Your mates or your girlfriend. And if you don't decide pretty quickly, well, soon you'll find there's no decision for you to make. All right? Yeah. Do you want a drink? What do you want? I'll have an orange juice. Cheers, mate. Nice one. Thanks a fucking lot. Well, it was an accident. I've said I'm sorry, haven't I? Accident? You spread it bag off, you great Gareth. Have to do it again tomorrow. Oh, it's alright. I'll come with you. Look at the pub while it's doing. <sighs> I don't know what you're bothered about anyway. It normally doesn't worry you wearing dirty clothes. <laughs> <laughs> fucking shoot you, cheeky bastard. Give me one of those tins before I fucking lamp you one. Cheers. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Don't open it yet. Don't open it yet. I'll show you something. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, um, they're doing this down at the Southern Cross, right? Right, what? Fucking choice. Shotgunning. Sh shotgunning? Yeah, I'll show you what you do. You get, um, pass some scissors there. Get some scissors, right, okay. Yeah, get your yeah. tin, right, okay. Right, right. Get your scissors, right, and what you're gonna do is get your scissors and jab a fucking hole in there like right, this, right? right. 
Okay, again, up to you, go. Pull it go. You know. Give me those scissors, <laughs> right? Here. Give us a tin. Give us a tin, right? Here. <laughs> you got it, right? Guys. Jab it fucking hard. Yeah. Okay, right. A quick, straight up. Pull the fucking ring, pull. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, get the fucking ring, pull. That's it, now suck, suck. Yes, suck. You got it? Yeah, swallow. Just, uh, ash. It just is, isn't it? Hello! <laughs> In here! <coughs> hey, you can't use that. Oh, come, come on, on. you got to wash it again tomorrow, anyway. Alright. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Well, Andrette and uh, had a couple of beers. You know, yeah, sort of thing. we tidied up a bit. <coughs> yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, we're anyway, not long been back. Actually. Greg was gonna he's gonna cook something for you, but we didn't know when he was gonna be back, so he never bothered. Oh, yeah, that's Sorry. all right. We've, we've had a pizza in town, haven't oh. we? Yeah, yeah. Are you all right then, Judy? Yeah, fine. You had a nice day in London, have you? And you've seen all the sights done the old tourist bit, have you? No, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It'd be a shame to miss all that in your little visit, wouldn't yeah. it? I'm going up. Are you coming? Yeah, yeah. You going up? I'll, I'll be up in a bit. Yeah, just have a just have a quick beer with the lads first. Yeah, yeah. What? Look, I'll be up in a minute. All right. Fine. Let's have one of these, eh? Before oh. you pair finish them off. Oh, I tell you, fucking drinking bloody England today. You mm. don't know. Nice one. <laughs> oh. mm. You just started and there's just no stopping us, really. Have you been in the tavern all this time? Well, well you know, we went to... Uh, but, you know, didn't washing and that, and you know, it was open just as we got there, so... See you, Paul, in straight after you finish the washing. <laughs> well, you know, we we're going to come straight back, but I thought it's best if... Um, you know, if we stay out for a little while, just give you and Judy a, you know, a bit of time to yourself, like. Huh? So, is that what you said? Well, well, you know, well, it's an excuse to go drinking anyway, <laughs> eh? Well, you, you don't have to worry about things like that, you know. This, this is your place as much as mine. I don't want you to think that you've got to make yourself scarce whenever Judy's around. She looked a bit upset. Don't you think you'd better go up? Nah, nah, she'll be alright. She's she's just chucking a Marty. Hey, hey, I've got I've got something to show you. Fucking brilliant. What? Um, fucking great. What? Um, um, shocking in, shocking. What are you fucking brilliant. talking about? Um, come here, Greg. Come speak English to me, man. Give us your tin. Give us your tin. Speak English. Where, where, where are those dances? Where are they? Drink, oh. can't. It's it. Fucking hell. That's how you do it. Holy Christ. You're having a go, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. All right. I didn't think anyone would be up yet. That's what we're like in this house, full of surprises. Mmm, very domesticated. It's a price you pay, yeah. Is it all right if I make a cup of tea? Yeah, that's all right, but uh, don't make a mess. I've just cleaned up there. Um, do you want one, Aunt? No, thanks. They should be all right for coffee as well, then, yeah? you just got to get it when you can in this house. If you leave any booze in the fridge, someone else will get there first and drink it. It's just like the dogs at feeding time, you ever seen them? 
They have to eat fast because they know that if they don't and they fall behind, one of their doggy pals will finish before them and then they'll have some competition for the rest of their own meal. Well, that's us. We're the dogs. Especially Stan. He's a terror. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Nine o'clock on a Sunday morning is the best time to visit the fridge in this place. Because once he gets started on it, it don't last long, you know what I'm saying? Right then. You best give me a beer then. Hey? You would. Give us a beer, will ya? Well, I'm a guest, aren't I? I'm not a resident, as you keep pointing out, which I think deserves a beer, doesn't it? Yeah, I think Stan will he'll probably be... Uh, Bugger coming, Stan! Yeah. Give us a beer, will ya? Oh, come on, let's get going. Come on. Cheers. That's better. Look, there's, there's no need to eat. Come on, drink up. What's the matter with you? It's free, isn't it? I bet one of the others paid for it. I never took you for a drinker. Well, it's a lot of surprises, me. You can drink me the best of them. Was Stan okay when he got to bed then last night? No. No, he wasn't. Aunt. Pissed as a fart, actually. Completely off his nut. Still, don't see why you should have all the fun, eh? Ready for another? Um, yeah. Good. Cheers. trying to do, you know. Oh yeah, what's that one? I know exactly. And <laughs> it won't work. It won't. Yeah, it will. If I take it outside, these blokes come along tomorrow morning with a big lorry and take it away. They do it every week. I've seen it before. <laughs> you think you're so fucking funny, don't you? Yeah, I do, actually, yeah. Well, you're not. In fact, I feel pretty sorry for you, actually. Yeah, I do. You've not got much going for you at all, have you? Nah, no real prospects there. Is that right? Yeah, yeah it is. But it can't go on forever, you know. You're not going to be able to sponge off your mates forever. That's why you don't want me around, because you know I'll put a stop to it. <laughs> Some friend you are. You'd actually try and get your mate to break up with his girlfriend just to suit your own selfish... Self. It's bollocks. It's not bollocks. You're not their mate. You're just a user. You're using them. You don't know what you're talking about, you. Oh, admit it. You're never going to pay him back that rent money you owe him, are you? Yeah, I know all about it. The sooner Stan gets out of this place, the better. Come on. What? I'll show you something. to Auckland? Yeah, it's in New Zealand, yeah. Well, it's already sounded like the place for me. I'm best going to check it out, haven't I? You're going to New Zealand? 
looks that way, doesn't it? What, for a holiday or something? Well, did you read the ticket? It's a one-way, not a return. Besides, you were right about one thing, if nothing else. I can't stay around here. Nothing going for me, no prospects at all. No, I didn't mean what I was saying earlier. No, 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 you were right. Speak your mind, people might respect you a bit more. So when do you leave? Today. You going right now? Can you do that? Can you just leave right now? I sorted everything out next stop Heathrow. Reckon if I don't go now, I'll never do it. It's now or never. I don't know what to say. <laughs> For once. Oh, hang on. Probably won't be needing this where I'm going. Go on, maybe you'll find a use for it one day. Where'd you get this from? That is a souvenir from my glorious army days. They let you keep them? Well, not exactly, no. Russian, that is. If you look close, you see the stamping on the blade. See, what people like you don't realise is that outside of your safe and cosy little world of, of offices and three-piece suites, the people actually get things like that stabbed in them for no other reason than they've got the wrong surname. Hey. It's been used, that bayonet. You could say it's second-hand. Yeah, come in handy. Use it on stand, you castrate them, couldn't you? Oh, what's the matter with you? You've got what you wanted. I'm gone out of here. In a few minutes' time, I'll be out that door for good and you'll never have to see me again. I should put a smile on your miserable face. Yeah. Yeah. You're fucking right. Nothing would make me happier. Oh, don't let me keep you. I'd hate you to miss your plane. <laughs> yeah, so all you got to do now is force Greg out and you can really start to be happy families and that poor sod in there. <laughs> Tell the boys I'll send them a card, will you? You are such a bastard. Do you really hate me that much? Well, pretty much, yeah. Why? You really want to know? Yeah. Why? You're strangling him. You've done it ever since you knew him. He used to have a mind of his own and a will. But over the years, little by little, you've choked it out of him. You just can't wait to fuck things up for him every time he seems to be doing his own thing, can't you? That's not true. It fucking is. Best thing you could do is get yourself out of his life for good. Give him a chance to breathe. Oh, right. And what do you do? You sponge off him. You encourage him to get pissed down the pub every night. He doesn't go anywhere except the pub. You know, he could really go places without people like you around. I love him. And he loves me. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I hold me too soon if I was you. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's a girl he works with. Carmen, her name is. You ever mentioned her to you? Yeah. Yeah, I thought not. Well, never mind, eh? I'll have the bright side. I might have been thinking about you and him shagging her the other night. I might have even felt a twinge of guilt. But I doubt it. See ya.